Andros Townsend, yes. Declan Rice. Is he going to start the season a West Ham player? What's your gut instinct in that? My gut instinct with three years left on his deal plus the club's option, I can't see how um, he's going to get out. I think the club hold all, all the cards. They're saying they don't want to sell. They're in Europe next season. So for me, West Ham in a great position. They're in a good position. So in, in one of the newspapers this morning, Simon, Declan Rice wants West Ham to improve their offer if he's to sign a new contract. And it then goes on to tell us um, any new offer so far has failed to match the £115,000 a week that Andrei Yarmolenko is on. Yarmolenko, of course, who will be seeing in action for Ukraine tomorrow night. Now, what I understand, Simon, is that West Ham tell me Nah, Yarmolenko's on a lot less than 115 grand a week. In fact, nowhere near it. And what Declan has been offered, maybe it's no surprise, Simon, would make him the highest paid player at West Ham United. But the key line coming out of West Ham this morning, Simon, is that uh, West Ham have absolutely no desire to sell Declan Rice at any price. At any price. Do you buy into that? Hey, David Sullivan was great, said his grandmother for the right price. <laughs> Well, right, is that, is that it? Do I follow that with enough said? Well, yeah, absolutely. Listen, De Declan Rice is an outstanding player um, and a player that West Ham have the right to control the destiny of because they've put themselves into a decent situation contractually. Mm. But if somebody wants to buy Declan Rice for the right amount of money, it doesn't matter who you are, mm. the transfer will happen if it meets the expectations of what West Ham can do with that money. If someone comes through the door and wants to pay £100 million for West Ham, I guarantee you they'll sell him. Uh, I, I think Declan Rice is right at the minute to not sign a new deal because in this tournament, his stock is rising game by game. So it'd be silly for him to, to sign anything before the tournament's over. So let him complete the tournament, see how well he does, and then he, he, he will know what sort of wage bracket he is in before he goes into negotiations. So for me, from Declan Rice's point of view, he's doing the right thing. I mean, when you hear that, Simon, no desire. West Ham have no desire. That's what I've been told, to sell Declan Rice at any price. No desire. But what happens if crazy bid arrives yeah, on I the mean, table? Yeah, but that's the point I've just made. Look, they're not going to put up a for sale sign, are they? They're going to turn around to you if you ask David uh, or any one of the either one of the Davids, is Declan, Sullivan, uh, Declan um, for sale, Declan Rice for sale, and they're going to say not at any price. Mm. But if someone comes through the door, then at a price that is... Um, appealing to them, which I would imagine would be at the ridiculous end of the £100 million marketplace, then you're going to find yourself in a very difficult position. If West Ham have got him for three years, then there's no need to yeah. do anything with him. If 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 he wants to play hardball on a salary level, which I don't think he does, if, they, if someone knocks on your door and says, I want to buy your house, you're going to sell it to him at twice the price, aren't you? Because they're knocking on your mm. door. You know, and if West Ham are going to Declan Rice saying, we've got you for three years, but we're desperate to get you for another three after that, you're going to turn around and say, well, give me what I want. OK, don't give me what I want. I'll stay as I am, mm. I'm, you know, and everyone stays as they are. So I don't think there's any real area of concern for West Ham or for Declan. Both of them are in a decent position. West Ham are in Europe. David Moyes is, is going well. It'll be an interesting season for them both because it'll see if they can sustain it and maintain it. Um, I suspect they'll be challenged to get into Europe again next year. So all roads lead to perhaps in a year's time, if West Ham have a decent season, everybody's happy, but they don't get the same levels of ascendancy they got last year, then maybe next year mm. it might be the time to either talk to Declan about a new contract or allow Declan to move on to maybe what people would consider a bigger club and cash in on him then. I mean, we know, Andros, yeah. all you guys, you're all ambitious. Yeah. Declan's no different. But it, it, in your view... Would it be the right time for Declan Rice to entertain a move? In view of what happened at the end of the season with West Ham and where they finished up? Yeah, I think if, if you if you believe what's what's being reported in the papers, he was trying to go last season. Um, he was trying to go to Chelsea last year. It didn't work out for, for, for one reason or another. And he stayed because he loves West Ham. He stayed, did the season, done really well. I'm sure he'll probably look to go away this season. But because he loves West Ham, if it doesn't materialise, Right, I'll get back to my, my day job. I'll, I'll work as hard as I can for West Ham. I'll have have another good season and try and leave the summer after. So I think whether he wants to, to leave or not is one thing, but whether or not he will push it through is another. Does he fit at Chelsea or at United? <laughs> Does he fit elsewhere? It seems to me yeah. he's, he's at the, the, the club that's perfect for him at the moment. Chelsea's different because I think Chelsea, they like their ball play. They like their holding midfielders to be ball playing. I think Kante's kind of 
broken into that team under Tuchel towards the end of the season. So it's Kante and a ball player in, in a, a, a Kovacic or Jorginho. So I don't see where, unless one of those players leave, I don't see where he'd fit in there. Manchester United's a different different kettle of fish. I think Like we go back to Pogba, looking at Pogba in the Euros with, with Kante doing his running for him and Pogba having the licence to get on the ball and, and spray passes left, right and centre. He would need another player like that um, next to him so that's a different kettle of fish altogether I mean what it tells me Simon is something that we probably knew all the time and I think you would go with this the players hold all the power don't they they hold all the power <laughs> for Declan he can sit well, back Andros well, is well, right but where he's, that... a, he's in the short window at the moment in a big way in the yeah, Euros but, but, okay but where does that logic come from if you've got him on a three year contract you're in a situation of neutrality if Declan Rice wants to leave tomorrow and West Ham don't want him to leave he won't be going anywhere if West Ham want to sell him to a bigger club, and I hate to use those terminologies, but there are clubs that are bigger in achievement terms than West Ham, and they're going to pay the price for it, then West Ham will sell him. So I, I don't think he holds all the cards in this particular instance. But why? We've heard that Tottenham don't want Harry to go, but Harry's more than likely mm. going to go. No, he's only going to go if it suits Tottenham. I think rightly or wrongly, I think the players do hold the power nowadays because, like you said, yes, they may have a three or four-year. Do they, they may have a three or four-year contract? The player says, "Right, I want to leave. I'm not turning up to training. I'm not playing. I'm not doing any media commitments." Then they, they force the club into a decision maybe they wouldn't have taken before. So, well, that depends upon how the club wants to operate. If you're talking about players like Harry Kane, who's the England captain, who has a brand that represents a far more, a far more than just his own opportunity in life. If he wants to sit there and seriously say to a club that he's got three years left on his contract with, I'm going on strike. Mm. As an England captain and with all that goes with that, I think he'll find himself in a world of pain. I think Tottenham are not going to be difficult with Harry Kane unless they, and if, if the obligation that is met, i.e. the decent amount of transfer fee that someone's prepared to pay for him, if you think hundreds of millions of pounds is decent for a footballer, but in this day and age it seems to be, then I don't, I, I don't see where the power comes into it. Players don't have the power if their contract status enables the club to have the courage of their convictions. If you're a big football club, you don't get dictated to. Lionel Messi, did he have the power last year? No. He got told to do as he's bloody well told mm. with one year left on his contract. He's and got now, the power now, though. He's a free agent. Well, oh, but that's a different argument, Jim. Last year, you sat here and said to me, it's Lionel Messi. <laughs> it's, it's Lionel Messi. He's going to be going. He's got all the power. What did he do? As he was told. Mm. As he was told, can I just ask you to say it like that? Did you I? did exactly <laughs> like that. That is almost parrot like. I, I agree with what you're saying with the Messi situation, but more often than not, once a player downs tools, once he says, I'm not turning up the train, I'm not playing, more often than not, he gets his move, rightly or wrongly. And I think that players see the previous one and be like, well, he did it, he got his move, I'm going to do this, mm. this as well. Whereas 10 years ago, there was none of this going on strike or not turning up to train. And I think it's each uh, inc it's, incident has been, given the other player oh, the confidence. I, I, Andrus has been going on for years. Really? Pierre van Hoydonk was doing it years ago. And Bobby he made a Savage did it at Birmingham. Yeah. People yeah. have been doing it for years. They've been downing tools and going, I'm not having any of that. Mm. I'm not having that. I'm not having this. What's different now is that clubs are better prepared for it because they don't get themselves in a situation where players have all the power mm. because they do their contracts a bit Well, better. I just wonder this morning, should West Ham fans in any way be somewhat concerned because so far Declan hasn't signed a new deal and there is a new deal on the table that would make him the highest paid player at West Ham United West Ham fans what do you think do you worry that your star man might just be out of there come the end of the Euros 08717 89 and remember only this morning West Ham uh, a senior figure at the top of the club told me this morning there is no desire to sell Declan Rice at any price Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Thursday morning 10 till 1 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.